Hello and welcome to today's episode of Pretty Good Gaming. I'm Henry. I'm here with Mr. Gareth Evans, as usual. How are you doing, sir? I'm good, thank you. How is everybody? Everybody good? Is thank you. Awesome. Let us know in the comments how you're doing. <laughs> well, so, you know, we can't exclude the viewers. I mean, the, you are one of us. You are the collective <laughs> third member. One of us. One, one of us. us. So, we've been playing a little bit of Rage 2. Now, you've played... How much do you reckon you've played? I've only yeah, played a little. A, a solid... Six hours, I'd say. I've probably played about three, and we've got some some opinions, some good, yeah. some bad. We just look, we just thought we'd share them with you. If you're of a mind to maybe buy it, maybe not. What's it like, guys? Tell us what what it's like. Should I buy it? Is it does it look? Is it better than it looks? Is it other is reviews? Is it more than just the what did we call it? The the pink ellipse. Yeah, the pink ellipse. Is it is that just all it is? Well, that's what we're here for. So uh, settle down, take a take a seat, get, get yourself, yourself a brew. A that's it. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and settle in. So, my instant first thought was there's a lot to like about Doom. Um, there you go. Slip up there. There's a lot Doom. to like about Rage Doom. 2 Doom because 2. it feels a lot like Doom. <laughs> if you liked 2016's Doom, like I really did, you'll probably really enjoy the, the shooting. Yeah. Just like a basic level shooting, first person shooter, what you need to get right, the yeah. shooting. Straight out the gate, the shooting is the number one feature of this game. This is yeah. the most fun that you'll get out of the game. This is, I mean, you could say this is the only fun that some people might get out of the game, but if you like the Doom in, the Doom in shooting, <laughs> oh, this is going well. If you like the shooting in Doom, then you will certainly like this because it's almost identical, and yeah. and it gives you that just satisfaction of uh, and it's in your face yeah. uh, um, combat. It's not like keep your distance, po poke your head, and yeah. uh, pop some heads and things like that. No, you've got to be in the face because as soon as these uh, enemies die, they miraculously spawn some energy for you to pick up, yeah. which is fuck it. You know, very convenient of them. That's, I mean, that's kind of them. Considering they're bad guys, they leave energy. They're, just they're very now. repentant. They, they explode with this blue kind of balls of energy that's, that's so good of them um, so that's why you need to be in their faces because if you keep your distance you won't be able to pick up though that yeah. energy and you um, pick it up and you get your health back right but then if you don't pick it up it vanishes exactly you've got a time yeah. on that and so and the combat system and the progression with the combat works really well you pick up skills as you go along and there's so and there's so many and it feels I mean my, my grievance with this was on a PC the controls weren't great but I can imagine that um, that isn't a barrier on consoles and that playing on a on a controller is probably better than playing on mouse and keyboard. Now, this is a first-person shooter game, and I sh probably shouldn't be saying that, as I am a um, signed-up member of the PC Master Race, but I feel like the controls are so bad on the PC. If you're picking up a PC, question mark over the controls is the first thing, that's for sure. But in terms of the combat and the progression, if you like Doom, it's a pretty much a must. Yeah, because I've been playing it on PC, and I swapped the controller for a little bit, and then switched back to mouse and keyboard. I immediately sort like started to rebind some of the, the keys, because they were just in, like, weird places like you've got to take your hand off the mouse to to click enter to get through all the menus that come up when yeah. it's like anytime oh, the you, UI is awful the UI so, is horrible <laughs> so anytime you you like raid a little settlement or you oh there's a gas station with some baddies there I'll go kill them I'll find all the treasure lovely and then it'll come up saying well done you've done this Here's your level progress yep. for, for this character who you're working with. And there's like three screens you got to get through, and you can't really skip them until no. it tells you you can skip them. Now take your hand off whatever you're touching, either your mouse or your keyboard, and press the button that's in between them both, which is the enter key. Yeah. Now congratulations, now go again. And go. people people are fight shooting it. And this brings me to my my one point, my first point of grievance, which is the tutorial menus pop-ups. Oh my goodness, yeah. with the too many of them. I just skipped through most of them, and I, I generally, if I'm playing a new game, I'll read all the tutorials because I don't want to miss anything, yeah. especially if it gives me like a like a unique ability or something. But I was like, these are like three paragraphs yeah. of information of how to pull a trigger. Yeah. I know how to do that. <laughs> this is a grenade. <laughs> it will explode in your face unless you let go of it. <laughs> Brilliant, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for that. Press enter and carry Move on. Move on. Oh, wait, now. Here we go. <laughs> but the, the shooting itself, moment to moment killing people, it's instantly rewarding. Like, Idsoft style of shooting it gives you instant feedback straight away. Be that with a horrendous explosion of blood and guts everywhere. Or when you, you get that kill shot, you get a little little skull in your crosshair, yeah. which I thought was quite cute. It's quite good. It is a power fantasy game, oh, so absolutely. you're supposed to explode the baddies, yeah. and it's supposed to feel like you're immortal or untouchable or whatever. So, you know, if that's the kind of gameplay you're into, I felt it was easy. I felt it was yeah. pretty easy. Although the enemies do range in their difficulty based on their location on the map it seems because I didn't see any it's just an arbitrary reason it's like oh the enemies at this location are not eight skulls out of ten but the right. enemies at the other location are only two skulls out of ten yeah. so that was a bit like okay 
Okay. There was a point where I was trying to get from A to B, and these guys dropped in in like high tech gear, and I was like, "Oh, cool, I can fight them. I've got some guns." And they just trounced me because they had like big sh over shields and shit. I was like, "I have no idea how I'm supposed yeah. to do this yet because yeah. I've not, I'm not like leveled up or whatever." Yeah, the armor's pretty annoying, and the headshots is like, "Come on, three headshots, really? That's you know, <laughs> just go I, down." I don't care how many skulls out of ten this guy's supposed to be. A headshot should kill, but no. Nope. Lo and behold, not having that. So the other big thing that they've kind of been all about, and Rage is sort of known for it, I don't think it's as known for it as it would like to be, is the car and driving mechanics and stuff. They like to think they're all about cars. It's got a very Mad Max feel in terms of like the the world, the way it looks. It's like a desert. It's all everything's sort of rusty and running on shit fuel. So you've got this car, and unfortunately, it handles like shit. Like there's no two ways about it. Like I play played it on PC, I was like, okay, I'll forgive it a bit because driving with keys, you're not going to have the level of um, finesse that you might win if you're like exactly. using a stick. So yeah. I was like, okay, I switched the controller for a bit and I was like, this just, it's not turning right. The, the handbrake turns just spin you out completely yeah. and you'll flip over if you hit just a tiny rock and you'll just tumble and roll away. Yeah, it didn't feel right for me. I mean, I like to drift, you know, if you're able to drift, yeah, you hit the brake and like turn your, turn your vehicle and then you, you correct your own like front wheels in order to engage engage the drift but that just spins you the other direction yeah. it's like it automatically compensates for you in the drift it's like well let me let me control that and 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 just in general not only that like, that was another minor gripe that i've got there with not being able to drift properly it, it's just yeah it, it doesn't control as nice as it perhaps yeah. could have done considering that a large portion of the time that you'll be spending in the open world not on foot because there's f all to do because the map is so sparsely populated you're going to be traveling in a vehicle yeah. and that really isn't that satisfying especially coming from a game like days gone which has arguably a fairly dull world but driving or riding the bike is is so fun and going from something that feels really really good like that in not necessarily the best open world to this which has again not necessarily the best open world but with bad driving getting from a to b is yeah. such a burden like i just got to a mission where in order to progress i have to do a race and as soon as the guy who gave me the mission said that i was like i, I don't want to do that uh, i don't like and, and i shouldn't yeah. be feeling like that playing mm -hmm. a game right another thing that's kind of annoying me about the driving is the way the waypoints work because you don't get a mini map you've got your over map which you have to open in a menu but then in the world there's these arrows that are represented on the floor and you just drive along them that's fine but then they're, they kind of just it seems like they disappear but it turns out they've gone round a corner and you just didn't see them and yeah. all of a sudden you're going the wrong direction yeah. at random times I'll, I'll be driving somewhere and then I'll like hop over to oh there's a bunch of guys here I'll kill them I'll raid this outpost whatever 10 minutes out of my day but then the, the waypoint stopped being pinned on my map like I can open the over map and it's still there but then I have to like re-click it to get yeah. the arrows back up on the road it's really bizarre that must be some sort of glitch so yeah maybe because uh, it's just it says it's there but it's not yeah <laughs> so yeah I, and i found a problem with the with the map as well you know you, you've got kind of a little compassy map yeah. to show your direction of of the um your next objective or whatever and sometimes when i was in one of the trading um cities it just disappear and i'm like well i'm trying to get to this this dude yeah. to get my get my next mission but i can't see the the local icon for him i can see an icon that's the other side of the map but i couldn't yeah. see the icon so and maybe again another glitch yeah and because you get dropped with so many like main missions at once because they're kind of like okay done the tutorial go find these three people and those three places are then pinned and they're yeah. always in your little overhead compass thing so if they're all in the same direction they all just smush together and you yeah. have no idea where you're going yeah and uh, i guess that leads us on to missions i mean i mean this is where the game starts to fall down with for me like the characters the story the missions this is where that the the open world i mean this game was built by two developers id yeah. software and avalanche and id software dealt with the shooting because they did the doom and avalanche did the open world and everything else the story and and they fleshed out the open world and they did just cause and mad max yeah. right in the past and it and it definitely shows it definitely shows the the caliber of their work you could say because avalanche's side is the weaker side by yeah, far unfortunately there's a lot to like in just cause because you can well, especially in the newer ones you've got the glider the wingsuit thing you fly around and stuff but the driving's never been its strong suit or the world it's very very big yeah but there's nothing in it with mad max the driving was actually really good and i really enjoyed being in the wasteland but it's just there's something wrong this time around and yeah. i think that's kind of looks even worse 
when you like play the shooting and that feels really good yeah and then you're out in the world it's like yeah, this is just feels like two games that have been smushed yeah. together and part of the like the issue this is some sort of t- uh, the, um, a problem with the open world and, and how immersive it is because a single uh, first person perspective shooter quite immersive right but then again you go into one of the trade towns and you talk to random people and they feel so disjointed they feel like they're just not part of the story they're just they're just like machines that are there to spew out some of the some some words and tell you about some random family member who's died and needs vengeance or some yeah. some outpost that needs uh, you know needs retribution for or whatever just spilling out all these this information to, to load up your map with markers so they yeah. can go out and do side missions I didn't feel any connection with those side characters and it doesn't help that there was no cutscenes and there's cutscenes in the beginning the main story and everything right but when you meet all the other characters there's no cutscenes it doesn't feel like it's immersive as the game probably should be and that's and especially since the character models are just not great the facial yeah, mo- animations and models are very very much lacking and they look like they're from maybe five or six years ago if you compare them to like games maybe even three or four years ago it's it's still lacking on that and i know the game was made in the apex engine which is avalanche's engine but it looks dated the, yeah. the character animate models look look dated and that is to its detriment well the, the main characters like the named characters when they're in cutscenes look really good they're rendered super well like at the beginning there's a big set piece of the little bases getting attacked or whatever you, the bad guy has a monologue and shit that looks awesome but then it's the all the npcs they just look weird they look rubbery and they're they're like facial animations just aren't, isn't right there's no performance capture in the facials yeah. at all and, and, and in this day and age when you're you're getting games set in the bar so often yeah. you know, a new game comes out every couple of months and you think wow that looks stunning for rage to, to be compared to that it's just night and day yeah. it really isn't good enough and when the facial capture isn't performing well and then i'm also getting an audio glitch where they're either three different characters in completely different locations are talking or mm. the same character is saying two different lines of dialogue it really throws <laughs> things off i was just like what what like oh i'll go talk to this guy yeah he's got a little icon above his head so he's going i can speak to him started walking over before i interacted he started talking being like oh you're you're a ranger blah 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 and then I spot started speaking to him it didn't cut off what he was saying it just overlaid on top yeah and I was like I have no idea what's happening anymore I had this one weird glitch where some the bartender guy was still down in one of the basement right but his icon I was able to initiate a conversation with him from behind the bar so he wasn't there it was invisible I think so I, I had this as so well so I talked talked to the guy yeah. behind the bar but his voice was projected from down in the basement where he actually was <laughs> so it, it, it was so weird but another glitch again another rough around the edges yeah kind of thing in terms of the world in general it just feels like it's a place with stuff in it it doesn't feel like people are really there or there's any real like tangible law like there's these little data pack things you can pick up and you can read but n- none of it's very yeah do you read relevant. any one of them i didn't do read, I, <laughs> didn't I read, read one and i was like the uh, first couple i was like i don't i don't read yeah. like what is this there's, there's nothing it's juicy open world to get onto. action game and you're supposed to be reading data pads yeah it's like mm, okay no this isn't this isn't how it's supposed to work and yeah the world doesn't even feel lived in it just feels like things were dropped there yeah that's the main problem it doesn't feel it like the world is living at all it just feels like a set piece yeah it's really weird and i feel like this is a problem that some open worlds seem to be falling into is that it's an open world but some of it you still can't go to like there's these big pits like uh, down mm-hmm. cliff sides and if you go there you'll, you'll die you'll just fall oh, yeah. down and you'll die yeah. oh you're leaving the known map oh turn around it's like, it's like an invisible wall yeah. here somewhere it's like, well, yeah, okay, it's like what the fuck you want about this is an open world <laughs> like i'm supposed to be able to go anywhere i can't drive this way i'm gonna get a failure screen a brilliant right ni- nice design guys well oh, done why it's, just, it's <laughs> mind-boggling in this day and age you'd have thought they'd have found something some better way to to mask the edge of the map then just to, yeah. an invisible barrier i mean it, visually it does look it does have a, a look it's got a style the whole like wasteland punk thing with the, all the colors and shit and if you're into yeah. that cool yeah i think like, that that's it the does th- have a look the arc the, then the gameplay itself is very arcade in it and it feels like the game would have been done so much better as a linear game yeah rather than an open a world level game. based and they, and they could have and they could have paid more attention to the finer detail and the characters and the story and made 
gives you a little bit more immersed but as it is it just feels like just a really bad open world game or a really good shooter game just mixed in one it's yeah just it doesn't quite concoction. know what it wants to be yeah it's a weird concoction and and the open world seems dated but the combat feels good and and that's the bottom line right will you enjoy this game now yeah. i pretty much didn't because I, i'm not a fan of this type of shooter i'm not an aggressive shooter when it comes yeah to you're shooting. a bit more tactical yeah so i wasn't really buzzing off the combat too much but if you do like the combat you you must play this game if you like doom you must play this game because you will really enjoy it there's loads of you to, for you to do but if that is tiresome for you if you don't enjoy that then oh my god this is going to be a waste of your yeah, time yeah unfortunately <laughs> and, and that's what it was for me and that's how i feel like i feel like i'm done now i'm done with this game i don't really i'm not interested in the characters not interested in the story the narrative any of the uh, uh, gameplay any of the driving feels bland for me it feels boring it feels dated it just feels like a waste waste of waste of wasteland a waste of my wasteland time <laughs> yeah i mean it, it's it's got a lot of style there's all the pink the soundtrack's are very 80s and the, it's very much got that vibe but it lacks a bit of substance it's very much a bit of stuff a bit too much style and not enough substance yes unfortunately but there you go if you like doom and the shooting and all that sort of stuff you'll probably have a real a real solid time but if you're looking for a really interesting open world maybe give it a miss because you're not going to find it here unfortunately yeah, agreed but that's just our impressions so this isn't really a full review because we haven't gone into too much detail it's just just a bit of opinion peppered on top mm -hmm. of your your wednesday afternoon so we'll see you on friday with our regular friday news roundup i've been henry and i've been gaz we'll see you then bye for now look at that that, oh, that was, was coordinated the best one ever. Wow. Good at this. congratulations <laughs> game sucks but we rock <laughs>